tracheostomy. It is one of the commonest procedures done in the intensive care unit by intensivist. Herein, an artificial opening is created in the trachea and a tube inserted inside to assist in ventilation or to protect the airway. Coming to indications of tracheostomy, it is broadly three categories. One patients on prolonged mechanical ventilation and patients where weaning from ventilatory support is difficult and another is neurological patients where for airway protection. Coming for advantages of tracheostomy are various, increased comfort, reduced sedation, improved oral care and many more. It is done mostly by two methods. Percutaneous tracheostomy is done inside the ICU and another is surgical tracheostomy. Advantages of percutaneous tracheostomy is that it is done at the bedside. So there is reduced risk of transport to operation theater and many more. Complications like any surgical procedures is there bleeding, hypoxia. But with increased experience, the complications can be avoided to a large extent. Coming to certain myths and facts about tracheostomy. Tracheostomy patients can eat and drink normally with the tube in place. So once the patient gets better, the tracheostomy tube is removed at the bedside and the wound closed with a sterile gauze and it gets healed in 2 to 3 days. And then the patient can speak normally as before. Thank you.